December 14th, The Great Life. John 14.27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you, let not your heart be troubled. Whenever we experience something difficult in our personal life, we are tempted to blame God. But we are the ones in the wrong, not God. Blaming God is evidence that we are refusing to let go of some disobedience somewhere in our lives. But as soon as we let go, something becomes as clear as daylight to us. As long as we try to serve two masters, ourselves and God, there will be difficulties combined with doubt and confusion. Our attitude must be one of complete reliance on God. Once we get to that point, there is nothing easier than living the life of a saint. We encounter difficulties when we try to usurp the authority of the Holy Spirit for our purposes. God's mark of approval whenever you obey Him is peace. He sends an immeasurable deep peace, not a natural peace, as the world gives, but the peace of Jesus. Whenever peace does not come, wait until it does, or seek to find out what, why it is not coming. If you are acting on your own impulses or out of a sense of the heroic, to be seen by others, the peace of Jesus will not exhibit itself. This shows no unity with God or confidence in Him. The spirit of simplicity, clarity, and unity is born through the Holy Spirit, not through your decisions. God counters our self-will decisions with an appeal for simplicity and unity. My questions arise whenever I cease to obey. When I do obey God, problems come, not between me and God, but as a means to keep my mind examining with amazement the revealed truth of God. But any problem that comes between God and myself is the result of disobedience. Any problem that comes while I obey God, and there will be money, increases my overjoyed delight because I know that my Father knows and cares, and I can watch and anticipate how He will unravel my problems.